Yeah, the, what, what we're looking at here is basically the kind of fifth part um, within my work. Um, it started around 2002 after the last series, which was the self-portraits. Um, initially, I felt a bit lost because I felt that I started in the early 70s, sort of had finished in 2002. Um, so I wasn't sure whether I should go do some conceptual series or more documentary and what subject. Uh, meanwhile, I kept taking pictures of people I um, either knew or whose work I really liked. And there happened to be a lot of painters among those. Uh, and then I was allowed to um, uh, sort of postpone any decisions uh, in what kind of direction I was going to take my photography work uh, to because I started to do uh, movies and they, they tend to take quite a long time. So um, it didn't dawn on me till a few years ago that what I was doing as, as a sort of felt like in between photography was actually my new direction. So it is very simple photography. Uh, it's me with a camera visiting people that I really like, uh, at least whose work I really like. And um, it's black and white. It's, you know, without much planning. Um, and, and without any um, assistance or lights or all that stuff. It, it's back to um, the way I used to work in, in, the, in the 80s and, and 70s to, to a degree. I think if my life was just devoted to photography, I'd probably be much closer to it. But because I do films, um, you know, the energy uh, and time I can spend on stuff is, is limited. Um, on the other hand, I force myself sometimes into situations where I just have to work a certain way. Uh, I've just built a studio; it's my first photographic studio ever, um, and I don't know what to do with it yet. But I'm sure at some point over the next few years, I will start using it, and that be possibly similar to, to how a painter starts. You know, I really admire a lot of the painters because they take a lot of stuff in, whether it's influences of all the painters, whether it's you know, their relationship, whether it's the world at large. Um, but they, ha they are within this studio and they start with an empty canvas and they somehow um, um, make something that, that reflects some of that, that struggle uh, and, 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 and questions they, they're struggling with. Uh, and I, I really admire that, I think it's very courageous. Um, I still like to photograph on film, because I like the whole process, not just the look in the end, but also the process of how you shoot. Um, I just have an aversion to people taking two pictures and then look at the back of the camera and then take another two and then move something and take another two. I feel that um, after I've taken a Polaroid to check if the light is correct, you know, I shoot um, without a tripod and I just take pictures and then I hope that I caught something. Uh, I don't shoot very much. But then there's a tension between the moment you shoot and the moment you have it developed and you look at contact sheets. And that can be one day, two days, a week sometimes, depending if you are traveling. And that, that's quite an exciting tension. And I feel that's something I like. Uh, it also gives me the feeling that what I'm doing is, is a kind of adventure. And I would hate to lose the, that element of, of photography, that adventurous element. So, um, I, I probably will do some more printing digitally, but I will stay as long as I can shooting uh, analog.